This video was made possible by the supporters on my coffee page. Friday. <laughs> so today I am I'm also gonna be drawing today. Um I haven't really vlogged too much. Well it's only four days into the month, so I'm not I'm not tripping. I need to open up my notion, my messy ass notion. This is due tomorrow. I wanna have my sales plan done tomorrow. So here's a little sneakle sneakle peek of what I plan on this county. Oh wait, sneak peek. By the time y'all are watching this, <laughs> I would have already done the sale. Um, I want to clear out a few items from my shop. Things that I feel don't really, either don't really fit the vibe or I just got them um, from a manufacturer that I don't really want to use anymore or I just don't care to use the design. So there's a few. Um, most of my uh, initial stickers, like the Nezuko ones, the Usagi, to Carol on Tuesday ones. I definitely want those to be like uh, <laughs> clear it out. I'm putting those on clearance. They're my first designs that I put out and I cherish them, but I don't really want to print them again. Only coming together. I'll continue organizing it today. So I've been working on this emote. I know I said I wasn't going to do static emotes anymore, but guess what? I need money. So here I am I'm doing static emotes and this one is coming out super cute. I think I'm just getting a lot better at doing um, expressions. Um, with emotes. I'm just better at drawing faces now in general and I have my emote style locked down like after doing this for over two years I'm so quick with it now. Um, the only reason why I wasn't quicker with this uh, with this commission, this one emote, I could have had it done yesterday, but I've just been doing a lot of things as you can see. I have so many things to do um, and sometimes I can't work on things one by one. Sometimes I have to do several different tasks in different areas of my business um, in one day. So. Hi, it's Editing Mojo, and it's my first interjection, probably the first of many. You already know what time it is. Um, but I realized that I didn't really record my face too much throughout this vlog. Um, and, you know, I've been going through it <laughs> just a little bit. Um, I'm kind of in a really, I don't know, awkward situation. I'm changing living situations right now, so this vlog is definitely coming out kind of late. Um, but I'm doing the best I can under some stressful circumstances. Um, and I feel like this month um, was like the start of the decline of my mental health. Um, and just a lot of things went wrong these past few weeks. We move. Um, not sure when this is gonna come out, but it's gonna come out eventually. But enjoy the video. Yeah, I don't know why I feel the need to explain myself. I should probably stop doing that. The next few clips are skipping ahead a couple days. And um, I forgot to mention that I got invited to, uh, I didn't even get invited. I applied for this position that I saw on Instagram for uh, an illustrator for a children's book. And you know, I decided to shoot my shot and I got it. So um, I'm going to this workshop to prepare for my first children's book and and I'm gonna take y'all with me. So let's go. Where am I? I'm somewhere in Fort Lauderdale for work. So I, I just came to my hotel and I just wanted to show y'all this because this is actually the nicest hotel I think I've been to. I'm still inspecting it. I mean, oh, oh shit, oh shit. I'm looking at the these floors here. Y'all know I'm paranoid. This is probably the nicest hotel I've stayed in. I was inspecting for bed bugs. Uh, so far, so good. I checked the curtains and everything. Yeah, I checked the curtains and everything, and now I'm going to wipe down all of the surfaces that I'll be touching. It was hell getting here. I'm so tired. I have to be up at I have to be up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow today. So I'm honestly I don't think I'm going to be sleeping much at all tonight. I guess we're pulling an all-nighter. I have to work on a commission too. Um, I didn't expect today to be as much of a headache as it was. So that's a disappointing, but I don't know. Maybe we'll get sleep. Yeah, just waiting on my food that I paid too, f too much goddamn money for. Oh my God. Like I don't do Uber Eats much and I don't really get like use ride sharing apps, but I had to for this. I swear everything is about three to four times more expensive now. And that's really shocking to me. 
I don't have carpet, which is nice. These are not carpet floors. That's how you know this is a nice hotel. This hotel is expensive as fuck, too. So, yeah. Okay, so if you watched 90 Day Fiance, you already know. <laughs> I look as beat as I feel, but um, I'm waiting for my Uber Eats food. The cafes and restaurants that are like within walking distance and like in the hotel are closed. So it's either that or I have to pay $4 for a fucking candy bar. I figure I might as well like vlog a little bit as I'm doing the things, you know? I like watching about travel vlogs. I've already made a tornado in this room. But one thing I really like about travel vlogs is when I get to walk through like the day to day of the um of the vlogger you know what i mean of the vlogger so i'm just putting my stuff up right now i have my body stuff over here body and face stuff here and then um hair care on this side i laid out my dress for the day this is just what i'm wearing right now um i'm still wearing my shoes i'm really glad that there's no carpet oh so thankful um i'm gonna wear my fuzzy socks in here um to keep my feet protected and then i also put um i always put my shoes near the closet and i put my bag here wine i'm not gonna drink um i have my bath sli uh, bath slippers right here dude they're just flip-flops these are the shoes i'm gonna wear when i get out the bath um and yeah i thought about showering first but my food might be here any minute so like i don't want to be fresh out the shower, still wet, running down to the lobby. Um, I'd rather, whenever I order like pizza or things from like a chain delivery, I will give them the room number. But when it comes to Uber and like other food delivery platforms, I do not give the room number because, you know, precaution. But yeah, um, that's all for now, I guess. day one of the workshop um i didn't record anything because i wasn't sure if i was allowed to and i i didn't think to ask because i was just absorbing all the information i was learning success today was uh, guys uh, today was so freaking cool i have been waiting for an opportunity like this and i'm glad that i I'm just so happy that I'm able to be here and get a chance to work on a children's book. I'm so excited to work on this book. Um, I'm a little bit less nervous now. I just kind of want to get started. I think I have an amazing team of people who I can really get some support on. Uh, you know, one thing that really um, is a con of being an artist who makes money off commissions is that sometimes I just, I don't know. It feels a little bit isolating. Um, I like being on a team. I'm not working on a team for this book. This is still an individual project, but I'm working with other people who are assigned books as well. And, you know, I'm getting to know them. And I think uh, we're building a really good support group. And we all mesh so well. Like, friend, twin? It's, it's amazing. I was definitely meant to be here. The struggle getting here yesterday was definitely worth it. Um, and I'm excited to show y'all what I'm working on. Um, I don't know how much of this I can show you, but guys, I'm drawing a book. I'm creating a book! Bitch! So, I'm gonna eat. I got myself a chicken sandwich at the patio bar. Um, I think that's what this place is called, or this restaurant was called. It's in the hotel. 
um i was gonna go to this peruvian spot with uh uh the other folks from the workshop but i just i have to work on uh harry on this commission and i've been itching to finish it like i'm close i'm i'm I can finish it tonight. I'm so tired too, so I want to get those sketches done and started. I want to be done with everything that I need to do today by midnight. So, um, I'm gonna try. Hello. I'm, look at all these pillows. So, I think this is my second hotel ever. Third, third hotel ever staying in. This is encouraging me to start getting pillows. I need to acquire pillows because this this is great. I'm like, I need this. I only have like two on my bed. Anyways, um, I've been up since 3 a.m. No, I've been up since 1 a.m. It is now 7. So basically just took a nap last night. Didn't even sleep. I just took a nap and um, cranked out um, a commission update. And now I'm working on some character turnarounds that I was supposed to have done yesterday. Um, my pen died, so... I'm on the last one. I don't know if I can show you. I'll cut this out if I can't. But this is the character I'm working on for the book. <laughs> look here. Look at. Look at. But, um. Yeah. I just have to do that before my workshop. My workshop's at 9. So I have about. I have a little over an hour. Like an hour and a half. Yeah, I have an hour and a half. Pretty much. Because it's like almost 7.30. I'm just so tired. Um, oh, I also have to. I also have to just do a character lineup. Um, I don't know about this man yet, um, but these are kind of an idea of some of the characters that I want to depict uh, in this story too. So, yeah, I'm just I'm so tired. I kind of just woke up, put a put a shirt on. I showered really late last night. I just woke up and brushed my teeth and um got to work and then once six o'clock hit i kind of dressed for the day i'm gonna go down for breakfast in a little bit i hope that last night is the only night that i'll have to like stay up that late for tonight i'm going to bed as soon as i can maybe like eight or nine o'clock because i can't i'm so sleep deprived i can't do this anymore I'm just so, what? These are not place any, oh dang. Okay, anyways, if you hear me burp, I'm really gassy. <laughs> but look at the sky though. Pretty, yes? Pretty, let me turn my light off. Yeah, day three, almost done. We're gonna go for a walk on the pier. So that's gonna be nice. I don't have the nicest view, but this is cool, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go meet up with, um, the folks. Y'all, I am, I don't know what it is, but we are all clicking so, so well, and it's so much fun. I'm having a great time. I look like shit. Um, I rolled out of bed. Didn't do my hair. I didn't do what I, well, I kind of did my hair yesterday. Um, I look ridiculous. I look ridiculous. Um, in my eyes. I'm just tired as fuck. Um, but... Yeah, it's been a great day. I learned a lot. I have a lot of work to do. Um, I have homework pretty much every night, but instead of doing my homework right away, I'm going to let my iPad charge because I had such issues today with my iPad. It's time to replace her. I don't know, man. We're making a lot of progress. Um, I feel like I haven't done enough work because I've just been kind of I don't know. I feel like I haven't done enough, but we've been in digesting a lot of information. So um, we've been going through the book illustration process kind of step by step, but I, we've been learning certain steps that aren't really like set in stone. Like you don't have to follow them one by one in order. So I think I'm actually, uh, we started with character turnarounds and today we started facial or facial expressions, face charts and, um, uh, what else? Oh, um, gestures. So we also started talking about storyboarding today and our assignment is to start our storyboard i feel like i need to start the storyboard and actual do the like doing the drawing oh and we also learned see we learned so much we learned so much we, i also learned 
about how to break up the story or breaking up the text. So um, I had a hard time breaking up the text with the story that I had. I feel like the best way for me to really like hash those out is to just go straight into thumbnails. So I may be doing that. I'm gonna wake up early in the morning to do that. I'm just gonna take this walk here and then I'm going to bed here. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's, let's go for a walk. It's almost time. Hey y'all, it's Mojo and I'm super excited to show y'all the new collections I'm adding to my shop. Starting off with new prints, introducing the Mushroom Bong. This high gloss 8.5 by 11 print is for all my potheads out there. Next up is Reverse Warrior. This is another 8.5 by 11 print. This is another addition to my yoga series and one of my favorite prints I've done so far. And last up, I'm adding an 8.5 by 11 version of my best selling print, A Quiet Time. And we now have a bunch of new stickers. The Full Metal Alchemist Peak stickers are now available. I started this set off with Alphonse, Edward, Mustang, Armstrong, Hughes, and Hawkeye. More characters, including the homunculus, are on the way. I also added these cute Diglett stickers. They come in three different colors. I couldn't decide on one. I also threw in these two band stickers, inspired by Nana, of course. And lastly, I added a bunch of Bomberman stickers. You now have the ability to get individual die cut stickers or stick with the original kiss cut sticker sheets. And finally, the acrylic charms are ready for purchase. These are one of a kind, and this is the only set of these designs I'll be creating. The updated crescent moon charm will be about two inches, and the front will have glitter epoxy. Each of the other charms are about 2.5 inches. The Nezuko charms are a bit different but still rainbow holographic with an epoxy front and glitter. Tuesday charms are holographic and they now come with an epoxy front. Check the description box or check the info on the product page to learn more about the changes to these charms. My camera's dirty. Okay, it's just gonna look like this. I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> I'm watching television, like regular network television. I'm eating my, I'm eating my bowl. It's one of them like super veggie bowls. Delicious. It actually is pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but you know, it's pretty decent, pretty decent. I had a coupon, so maybe that made it taste better. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. I'm watching, I don't know. <sighs> I'm still flipping through the channels. I don't know what the hell I'm watching right now. I might watch the Titanic. I skipped past Titanic, but I may watch that instead. Anyways, I'm very tired. I want to wake up super early tomorrow, so I'm just going to eat really quick, and then I'm going straight to bed. Um, after I brush my teeth, of course. Uh, uh! Good night. Good morning. So it is Wednesday morning and I am working on my storyboards. Um, I got a bunch of sticky notes out and that's what I'm doing my storyboarding on. I just broke up the lines of my story. I'm about to scribble my thumbnails down really quick. I just realized that I didn't do a fit check. Hold on. My fits are whack though. I look a little bit corny today. I can't, so I've been trying to do something else to my hair. All I have, I just have it clipped up. I just have it clipped up. It's so, <coughs> it looks very regular. I don't have any, I didn't bring that many nice clothes and I haven't been able to do my hair so I look very standard. And I just throw a choker on to act like I'm doing something, but I'm really not. My socks are so high. I usually wear black socks. I don't know where my black socks were, so I'm wearing gray socks.
Oh, good morning in my messy room. <clears throat> so, I looked really cute yesterday and um, now I don't. But I didn't have the time to show you all my outfit. But it was very cute. Uh, just believe me, it was a banger. I have to go, but uh, I just wanted to show y'all a little update on what I'm doing, working on Harry on this commission, and um, it is 7 a.m. in the morning, 7.30, just about 7.30, um, yeah, had a long day yesterday, but it was great. I think my neighbor got up, my neighbor is actually one of my um, artist friends I met here, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later, I gotta go. the last day and I'm gonna try really hard not to cry my ass off when I have to leave everyone today but I, I wasn't able to vlog that much yesterday because I was tired so I'm on my way to the workshop right now um, It is, oh, hi. It is the end of the day. It's about four o'clock and um, yeah, day four is over and uh, the sun is setting. Oh my gosh. So the sun is setting and I gotta hurry. So we're going to walk on the beach finally with the sunset. It's happening. Let's go. Um, Shorts and our handy dandy yellow top okay we are ready to go recording or I thought I was recording but I was talking to no one but it's the end of the night I'm going to bed my flights early in the morning and um, I don't want to be too groggy but I'm probably gonna be pretty tired so happy to have gone on this trip this was a life-changing experience for me and I'm gonna miss everybody so much I didn't cry I expected to cry but I didn't cry I wanted to cry however I'm going to keep in contact with them like this is not it this is not the end we are going to we are going to form a great collective so um yeah I'm gonna take my ass to bed we we went out I've recorded a little bit we went and got sushi and yeah I'm just I ate all of my these tarts oh I didn't even show y'all I took a bunch of these tarts we got treats at the end of our last session and I took all the lime custard tarts or whatever they were they were so delicious um, i took all the pillows from this bed and i put it on here so i'm gonna be sleeping in the middle of this hold on 
yeah i'm gonna be sleeping in the middle of this right now i'll see y'all later good night Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I hate it here, uh, but here's the progress that I made on the commission uh, for Harry on a Hook. This is a part of her Cheetah Girls collection. I created the stickers, uh, the individual stickers that are on the lip glosses and the group sticker. So this was really fun to work on. I love the Cheetah Girls and this is actually inspired by the original Cheetah Girls story written by Deborah Gregory. In the original story, the Cheetah Girls were an all-black uh, and Afro-Latina group. And Hariana's video, uh, I'll link it right here, talking about the origin story of the Cheetah Girls and how Disney, how Disney made changes to modify the story and, you know, what effect that that could have. Honestly, I love the Cheetah Girls movies, but I do feel like people deserve to know or Deborah Gregory deserves to have her name on the forefront when we talk about the Cheetah Girls. I've always thought about reimagining the Cheetah Girls story as an all black group. I don't know why, but when I found out that it originally was an all black group, I got really excited and I got a little bit sad just because, you know, I understand why Disney made its changes in order to appeal to more people, but I honestly felt sad that the company felt like people couldn't relate to an all black group. When I spent most of my life watching people on TV who didn't look like me and I was still able to relate to them. So why can't the same be done for us? I don't know. I don't know. We do know, we do know. But I highly recommend y'all checking out Hariana Hook's video. And also, if you want to get this sticker or one of the lip glosses that are available or the bonnets or do-rags in her entire Cheetah Girls collection, just go to her website. I have it linked down below. It's really beautiful stuff. Not just, not saying that just because I drew it. But I honestly want to thank Hariana Hook for giving me this opportunity to work with you. And I, it was a pleasure working with you. I hope we can work together again. Y'all, this holiday season, please consider supporting uh, black creatives, uh, black queer creatives all over YouTube or whatever platforms you find them on. Showing them monetary support goes a really, really long way, even if it's just a little. Support their shops, support their artwork, uh, support me. <laughs> and yeah, let's put our money where our mouth is at least once and actively show up for black artists. So. I'm headed to the store. It's the day before um, that daggone turkey day. And I feel like, I feel like I'm about to head into the trenches. I don't know, going to the store before any holiday is just complete ass. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm gonna be making peach cobbler. I'm making bourbon peach cobbler, by the way. That should be really good. <laughs> I no longer want to kill so I'm editing my October vlog late as shit but um that's besides the point guys I have to I have to admit as much as we love to poke and and um if you're not a K-pop fam I you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about but like um man I know we get on his ass. We stay on this man, but this dynamic do <sighs> It worked. It worked. It worked too well. I fear it worked too well. Okay, it is editing mojo here. So, 
yeah, I don't have a lot of footage after this. I just whipped out my camera during Somo Thanksgiving. I didn't really want to record the entire time. You know, it was busy. The house was busy. I didn't feel like recording. Um, but it turns out I didn't record anything after this. So, oops, my bad. Unfortunately, right after Thanksgiving, I got really sick. But well, my stomach was really bothering me. And I ended up having to go to the ER because I was in extreme pain. Um, but I'm fine. Nothing life-threatening. Um, I don't know what the fuck it was, to be quite honest with you. They say it's a stomach bug. Um, I say I got attacked. I'm okay now. After this uh, is my December vlog, and I may or may not post that before or after my Artist Alley video. I don't know. We'll see. But this is all I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, definitely hit up my coffee page. I'm considering a Patreon. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with that. But I'm on coffee, and I will soon be posting videos on there like I did earlier, but nobody watched those. And there are other perks such as uh, sneak peeks of all the art I'm working on, discounts on my shop, all the things. Oh, another way to support me is shopping on my shop. I have a bunch of new products on there and I do have a sale coming up. I'm not doing a overall Christmas sale. I'm just doing a holiday clearance. Uh, right after Christmas throughout New Year's, I'll drop those dates uh, soon, soon, soon. You'll see it. Or you can just follow me, you know, follow me on here, subscribe, uh, all those things. I'll talk to y'all later. See you in the next one.